Hamsters Don't Fight Fires by Andrew Ruth. Hugo was a hamster. Hugo was many things. He was helpful, polite, generous, a great cook, a fast runner, a slow eater, and a fantastic dancer. However, Hugo was not strong, tall, able to sing, or particularly good at bowling. And Hugo was certainly not a firefighter. Still, Hugo had always wanted to be a firefighter. Ever since he was young, he loved the flashing lights of the fire engines and the awesome suits that firefighters wore. Hugo also loved helping others, which is exactly what firefighters get to do all day long. After all, who needs more help than a scaredy cat stuck in a tree? Or a chef who can't cook for his guests because his barbecue is on the fritz. You should become a firefighter, Hugo. You'd be great at it, Hugo's friend Scarlett said to him one day. I'm sure it would be difficult, but you should never be afraid to try something new, Scarlett explained. Look at me. I may be a snake, but someday I'll be the first reptile astronaut to be blasted into outer space. Hugo was still nervous, but he decided that Scarlett was right. Even though he was small, perhaps he should try becoming a firefighter. He gathered his courage, walked down to the station house, and convinced the fire chief to give him a chance. However, things did not look good when he put on a fire suit that was much too big, sprayed the fire hose that was much too heavy, attempted to drive the fire engine that was much too fast, and tried to slide down the fire pole that was much too high. I am much too small, he said. How can I help when I am not big enough to slide, drive, or spray the hose like the other firefighters? Hugo was ready to give up and go home. But just as Hugo was leaving the station, an emergency call came over the radio. A forest fire was going on in the great woods just outside of town. Hugo tried to stay out of the way of the others, but in all the rushing confusion, he was given a fire suit that was much too big. And somehow he ended up on the back of the truck. When they arrived at the Great Woods, the firefighters rushed into action, unraveling hoses, setting up the ladders, and spraying water all around. Hugo watched the action and wished he was big enough to help. Then he looked up and saw a baby bird trapped in a nest at the tippy top of a tree. He told the firefighters about the bird, but no one knew what to do. The tree was so tall that none of the ladders could reach the nest. The branches were too old and too weak for any of the bigger firefighters to make such a dangerous climb. As the flames grew higher, Hugo knew what he had to do. He might not be a real firefighter, but the little bird needed his help. Gathering all his courage and strength, Hugo ran up the tree and started to climb. Hugo was very quick and soon he reached the nest. With the scared baby bird carefully balanced on his back, Hugo rushed, the tree, rushed down the tree to safety. Back on the ground, all the firefighters were cheering for Hugo. He had done what no one else could. The baby bird was safe and back in her mother's wings. Hugo's bravery had saved the day. The fire chief came over and exclaimed, I have my doubts, Hugo, but today you showed everyone that there is more to being a firefighter than how big you are. We would be proud to have you as a part of the team. All the firefighters clapped for Hugo and lifted him up on their shoulders in congratulations. The local newspaper even took a picture. It was on the front page the very next day. Hugo became the newest member of the North Creek Fire Station. As it turned out, he also could make an amazing four alarm house, firehouse chili, excelled at teaching the younger animals about fire safety, knew all the shortcuts for navigating the fire engine around town, could climb the tallest ladder to rescue the scariest cat, and was small enough to fix even the most difficult broken barbecue. Who would have guessed that you could ever, you could even order a hamster sized fire suit from the internet? Hugo was a hamster. He was still helpful, polite, generous, a great cook, a fast runner, a slow eater, and a fantastic dancer. But now he was also a firefighter, and he could not have been any happier.